What's up guys, Main Man Sui here, hoping you're all doing awesome as always, I'm gonna do a combo video review here, Tekken 7 season 3 combo video, new moves, so it's a season 3 combo video and it's gonna show you us all of these new moves and what we can do with them, and especially interesting in this video is seeing, well, what we have all noticed, that most characters have more damage and more wall travel, great, power creep, finally in Tekken 7. So this video demonstrates it very well, so I thought I could do a little review, and it's made by Blue Angels, who is, uh, you've probably heard about him, fantastic combo maker, uh, a legend when it comes to re-splatting characters all over the place, onto the walls, and super high execution, so you know it's gonna be a great video already. I'm gonna link it in the comment section. We start with Asuka here. And you saw that initial phew, phew, after the knockdown, that's a new move, it's a screw move. Um, this is Anna. That was a new move, obviously. Both Anna and Nina have got incredible new wall travel. I'm gonna turn down the volume a little bit more. Uh, so, bam, bam, eesh. All huge damage as usual. The full string there, as you can see, works to break the floor on the wall. And well, when the opponent is on the wall. And now the shredder kicks here, Kazumi. I'm gonna do them three times in a combo. And just look how how incredibly high and far away the kicks throw the opponent. So I'm gonna pause here and just say, uh, well, just look at uh, you can look at this dragon up combo because it just shows my points, you know, to 100%. Bam, bam, bam. Dragon of will with ease in season three combo you from one wall to the other wall, no matter how big the stage is. Uh, the wall travel in season three is just astounding on a lot of characters, and the damage is off the charts. So what you had in season two, and I've said this before, season two Ehachi, his damage it really stood out. Doesn't do that anymore. Lee's wall travel. Used to stand out a lot, doesn't anymore. So it's like a lot of like interesting character identity strengths are kind of um, what new, new, neutered because of this. You know, balls uh, chopped off. Is that neutered? I think it is. My English fails me from time to time. But uh, big Kasumi combo there. Oh, Kazuya. I mean, even Kazuya, you know, that back to one there, it just extends his combos so much. So even Kazuya, one of the characters with much better combo damage. And now his combos are better than Heiachi. I mean, you could argue before that they already were, but now it's like, de definitely. Heiachi definitely used to do more damage though, but not, not anymore. And look at the wall travel queen here, Nina is back. That, that's her new while running 3-2 I think it is. He starts a combo with it as well. No wait, it's while running 3-4 is it? But look at the amount of hits. And again it's wall to wall. Now bam, 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 11 hits. Still you can run in into that uh, while running 3-4. I think it is. Look how far it carries. I think Nina could have... Uh, well, undoubtedly I think she has the best wall travel now. And Hihachi with the... Uh, honestly not that uh, impressive while sending 3, 1 plus 2. Just learn to crouch cancel electric, <laughs> to be honest. And it will serve you uh, much better. Nice. Huge damage. I'm gonna see another one. Bam, bam. So, uh, of course, a good uh, juggling tool for Devil Jin, but uh, of course, it's not gonna compensate at all for the. Uh, nerfed up forward 4. I think it's probably the biggest nerf in all of Tekken 73. It's uh, Devil Jin's up forward 4. 
Nice, you see the Reese Blast here? That's, that's the biggest trademark of Blue Angels, in my opinion. The combo maker you are currently watching here. Awesome video. Um, but again, so like, uh, Lee, not a very strong character, but, but you could always say he has for wall travel. In season 3, you know, uh, I don't know how many fucking characters you can add to the list of godlike wall travel, and even stronger than Lee. And uh, when it comes to combo damage, oh, Heihachi, season 2. I mean, well, he has a lot of weaknesses, Heihachi, in season 2, but his damage, that, that's one of the things that stand out. That's a big strength. And now it's like, well, you can't really say that's a strength anymore because all of the characters can match him. So it's like, where does that put Heihachi? So it's like, even with the buffs he's gotten, I would say season 2 Heihachi is stronger. You know, uh, it's all about the environment the character is in. But uh, great, great video uh, by Blue Angels that highlights all of this stuff. And uh, great to see the new moves used uh, in very, very appropriate appropriate ways. And uh, I want to see the Askenia move here again. So she can do it after that counter hit knockdown. And then bam, bam, on, onto the wall. Uh, and you can still screw. Uh, Asuka is so buff in Season 3. Such a strong character. Um, but uh, yeah, really cool stuff. And again, these Shredder Kicks remind you of uh, Jinpachi's Shredder Kicks. But uh, Jinpachi's in Tag 2 used to throw you very high. But I feel they've just increased it yet again. And Kazumi's throw even higher. And uh, they seem to be faster, have more range. It's just... Uh, like, Jinpachi's... Shredder kicks were great in Tag 2, but it's like everything's on steroids in Season 3. You gotta make it even better. Just look at Kazuya. As he has got great combos. Season 1 and 2, what do we do? Back to 1, and now just the, the most ridiculous combos are possible now with Kazuya. And Dragunov, 3-1 into uh, Sneak. Paul, 3-2 into Backsway. And it's like everyone's doing so, such absurd things. Uh, and Shaheen's new combos are also just all over the place. I, I'm kind of surprised we didn't see him in this video. He has really cool new combos. Uh, but uh, yeah, great video by Blue Angels. I'm going to link the video below. Give him a sub if you really enjoy uh, attacking combo videos. Because he releases quite frequently. And it's always quality stuff. So I hope you enjoyed this little review. And I will see you all on the next video. Goodbye, my children.